Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Katie. If you are new here, I share simple, budget-friendly DIYs and home decor projects. And this week I'm sharing two DIYs that I made to style my office slash filming studio space, which is where I'm sitting right now. I'm going to be doing a whole refresh on this space in the next few weeks, but for now I wanted to create a few items just to get the ball rolling on that process. And then eventually later on down the line, I will style them in this space. A few weeks ago, I gave this shelving unit a makeover and that kind of inspired me to give this whole room a bit of a refresh because I haven't done that since we moved into our house like four or five years ago and it just needs a fresh coat of paint it needs some new furniture and things like that so I'm just really excited to share that with you um, so stay tuned for that if you guys like the type of DIYs that I share today make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos and let's go ahead and get started on the first DIY This first one is something that I've been wanting to try for a couple of months now. I actually originally saw it on Instagram from Geneva Vanderzeel. I love her account and all of her DIYs and crafty ideas and this one really inspired me and it seemed like it was perfect for me to try out. I purchased a large canvas for about $25 at the craft store and I think you could definitely use a variety of materials for the base but a canvas seemed like a really simple and affordable choice to me. Then I went to Home Depot and picked out a color scheme. I chose a few different shades of green and a cream color and I purchased a sample size of each one. One of the things that I love about this project is that you can definitely customize it and choose any color scheme that you like. So the concept here is that we're going to scrape the paint all over the canvas, but to give myself a bit of a base to start with, I rolled on one shade of green to half of the canvas. I just poured the paint directly from the jar and I would recommend starting with just a little bit and you can always add more if you want to, but remember that a little goes a long way. Then I grabbed my second color and a plastic scraper and started to scrape the paint in different directions. It definitely looked really cool already as the two colors kind of blended together. I got a little bit nervous because I didn't really know what I was doing, but honestly there isn't a ton of strategy here and this process is really forgiving. You can just have fun with it adding different colors and scraping them in different directions. I found that it worked well to work in sections, so I started on the right side and then moved up to the top corner. There were a few times that I was like, oh, I used too much of that color, but like I said, you can pretty much go back and fix any areas that you don't like by just adding more of a different color over top. I continued to layer the colors one by one, and I noticed that it's helpful to move fairly quickly because as the paint starts to dry, it gets kind of clumpy if you scrape over it when it's partially dry. I will say that this is a super satisfying project to do. I've been wanting a large art piece in my office for a while, and I knew I wanted to make it myself, so this is very exciting for me. I plan to hang it over some sort of a low console type piece that I can use for storage, possibly an Ikea hack, but we'll see how that goes. finishing detail that I found to look really nice was to dip the corner of my scraper in the paint and then lightly scrape on just a small amount of paint in various places, particularly the edges. As for the outer edges of the canvas, I grabbed my roller and rolled each of the sides and I used all the different colors here and there so that it would sort of match the rest of the painting rather than being all one uniform color on the sides. So that is pretty much it for this DIY. I can't believe how easy it was. Truly anyone can do this and I found it to be extremely relaxing. I love the way it turned out. It's totally something I could see myself buying, but it's so much more fun to make it myself. So if you're looking for a really simple way to create your own custom artwork, this is it. Okay, next up, I wanted to create a plant stand, but not just any plant stand. I wanted a really tall, narrow plant stand, which isn't something you see that often. But I really had this vision for just like a tall, sleek way to kind of display my plants. 
and I wasn't quite sure how to execute on it. As I was wandering around Home Depot, I found these wood dowels, which are 48 inches long and would make the perfect legs. But 48 inches was a little bit too tall, so I cut off about 14 inches or so. Actually, I think it was even more because I went back and shortened them a second time. But either way, I marked where I wanted to cut them and then took them out to the garage and cut them with my miter saw. If you don't have these tools, you can also ask for an employee at Home Depot to cut them for you and it's no big deal. For the top of the table, I used this wood round from an older project. It's already stained black, but I'm gonna give it another coat and of course stain the bottom as well. I used this plastic circle to measure where I wanted to put the legs just to make sure that they were evenly spaced from the edge and traced where they would go. To attach the legs to the tabletop, I found these tea plates at the store that I thought would be perfect for this. They come with two in a pack, so I just grabbed two packages. I lined the tea plate up to the bottom of one of the dowels and made a pencil mark, then drilled a pilot hole where the screw will go. Then I screwed the tea plate tight and flush to the bottom of the dowel. I repeated this process with all three legs, then lined them up on the circles that I had traced out earlier. I made three marks, one on each side and one at the top. Then again, I drilled some pilot holes, making sure not to go in too far because the wood round isn't that thick. Then I secured each leg to the round with screws, making sure they were nice and tight. Luckily, I still had a good amount of this black stain left over from another project. I love this stuff. It's a stain and a poly in one, so it's great for projects like this. Then I get some water on them from the plants. I apply it with a sponge brush and it gives amazing coverage. If you want more of the wood grain to show through, then one coat will do it, but I decided to go with two coats for more of a deep black tone. I'm really excited to style this in my office when I give it a refresh in a few weeks. I have so many different plants that I can put on it and I'm so glad that I made it as tall as I did because I think it's really gonna fill the space nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed those DIYs and I have a little bonus surprise for you. This video is also going to include a giveaway. I haven't done a giveaway in a while and I love giving back to you guys just to thank you for your support on my channel. I appreciate it so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what one of you will win. The first thing that you'll win is a set of these checkered coasters. I actually made these a few months back and I love them. I think they are so cute. I just have way too many coasters. So I thought I can give these to a good home. They come in a few different colors. I've got a little teal color, gray, and then this sort of coral color as well. And there are four coasters total. They have these little pads on the bottom so they'll protect whatever surface you put them on. So the first thing is four coasters. Next up, keeping in the theme of planters from today, I have these two little planter pots. They come on a little wood stand like this. So there's this white one and then this mustard colored one as well. I think these are adorable. Um, they'd be so cute for like little succulents or something. So that's the next thing. And lastly, you might remember this that I made also a few months back. It's this little kind of like riser, tiny table thing. It has little legs and it's painted in this gray tone to kind of look like concrete. So I think this would be adorable as like a little trinket tray or to display a little plant or something like that. Um, so that is the third item in this giveaway. If you do wanna enter this, all you have to do is leave a comment down below telling me which one of the two DIYs from today's video was your favorite and that is all. I will pick a winner um, and I'll leave all the details for the giveaway in the description box down below. If you do try out any of the projects from today's video, make sure you share your photos with me or tag me on Instagram. Instagram, it's my favorite thing. It's just my name at Katie Books or on Instagram. I would love to have you follow me over there. I do share a lot of little short DIY tutorial videos and behind the scenes photos and things like that. So make sure you're following along. And I am like halfway done with my powder room refresh video. So I'm so excited to share that in the next few weeks as well. It's my first kind of like full room makeover on my channel. So 
I can't wait to show you guys the before and after, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that video. Hit that little bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.